Hi, Mike Ork, the garden guy here. Hydrangeas. You know, people have been saying, you got to cut them back. When do you cut them back? If you're going to cut them back, how far do you cut them back? Don't even cut them back. The thing I want you to do is enjoy them while you can. Now, the hydrangea I have in front of me has a bunch of lesions on it. It's kind of a leaf spot situation that you're going to get similar to what you have on rose bushes, except it's not going to be anything detrimental. The plant, the days are getting shorter, the leaves are going to start changing color. I really wouldn't do much of anything to this particular plant as far as putting any fungicide down to cure this. But when it comes down to the flowers that are on it, I want you to leave them alone. Don't do any cutting back on the French hydrangea. The French hydrangea has a tendency to be a little finicky. They've got new hybrid varieties that are called, for instance, the uh, Endless Summer, where you're supposed to get new growth on the new foliage. Don't trust them. Don't cut anything off. Don't cut anything down. When they turn totally brown, then give them a haircut. But the ones behind me here, those, let's say, the pink hydrangeas, uh, pink diamonds, the woody ornamentals, you can go ahead and give them a haircut, cut those back, but don't cut them down. For Fox Toledo, I'm Michael Work the Garden Guy. Don't forget to watch me here every Wednesday right here on Fox Toledo.